Hello, this is Todd Lane, Marketing Communications Director at VIEW. I'm going to describe the new features in VIEW version 3. The first feature is searchable contextual sidebar forums. We created an area to the right of your viewbook pages for sidebar comments. To access this area, click the sidebar comment button. I'm going to take you to a different viewbook page to show you how these work. I use the Mona Lisa as my content and as the basis for several sidebar forums that I created. To collapse a forum, click the minus sign. To expand a forum, click the plus sign. You can leave flags on your text comments to indicate status. In addition to text comments, you can also leave voice comments. To do this, rather than typing in the white area here, click the speaker icon. Then click to start recording and speak into your computer microphone to leave a voice comment. You can filter throughout your forums for all the comments left by a particular user, for all of them left on a certain date, and for all of them that contain a certain flag. You can also do text searches throughout all of the forums. So this is a great way for you to organize your discussions with your collaborators. You can move these circles to wherever you want them to point in the content and then transparently see what everyone thinks. It's much easier than emailing files around and reconciling changes from returned emails. You can also view the sidebar comments as sticky notes. To do this, exit the sidebar comment area by clicking the X then you see they're converted to sticky notes. To view them again as sidebar comments, click the sidebar comment button. You can create the discussion forums either as sticky notes or as sidebar comments and then view the information whichever way you prefer. The next feature is webcam support. You need a webcam installed on your computer? Then click the webcam icon here to start presenting your video. Hello. We can currently support up to five users simultaneously presenting their video in a meeting. Voice over IP enables you to use your computer microphone and the internet as your vehicles for voice communications. To use voice over IP, click the push to talk button, then speak into your computer microphone, then click the button again when you finish speaking. We currently have simplex voice over IP implemented, which means that one person speaks at a time. So when you're done speaking, click the button and then someone else can take the microphone. Voice over IP is especially great for international collaboration because your international collaborators can avoid long distance charges. Private chat group enables you to have a private text chat with one or several of your collaborators. To do this, click the start private chat button. Then select the collaborator or collaborators you want to have a private text chat with. You can assign a name to your chat room. Then click the start chat button. And you'll see that you have a separate area here for private text chat with your collaborators. The quiz and poll creator enables you to create quizzes and polls and put them in viewbook pages. To do this, you need to load a plugin. Click the puzzle piece icon here to load the plugin list. Select quiz poll, then click load to load the quiz poll creator into your viewbook page. Type a title for your quiz or poll. Select whether it's a poll, which is questions that go out to your group and then the results are displayed as group answers, or a quiz where the results are graded separately. You can decide whether you want to show the scores or show detailed results, including all of the questions and all the correct and incorrect answers. Type your question here. Select whether it's a multiple choice question, true or false, or requires text input. If it's a multiple choice question, select whether a single answer or multiple answers are correct. Type your choices here in these boxes. Then click the radio button or buttons next to the choices that are correct. You can also add more choices here. When you're done with your first question, you can add another question and continue doing so until you've completed your quiz or poll. The last feature I want to discuss is user statuses. You can click on your username here in the user list and you'll get a menu that allows you to raise your hand if you have something to say or a question, to indicate that you're temporarily away from the meeting, to ask the presenter to slow down, or even to applaud. I hope that you applaud these new features in View version 3 because they're based on your suggestions. We always welcome your suggestions because many of them make it into our product. Thank you.